Hey Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, I'm Devin here and I'm going to tell you about an exciting addition to our 2020 cookie program, Clover Go. You may be asking yourself, what is Clover Go? And most simply, it is a credit card processing app that we are making available to all of our troops and all of our girls for the 2020 cookie program. We're partnering with a company called Fiserv, formerly First Data, to be able to offer this as an option in our council. It's gonna make it easy for girls on the go and troops to be able to accept credit cards, making it fast, easy, and efficient to collect payments wherever they are. Now, not only does it make your cookie program a little bit easier, but it's also going to help our 21st century girls learn more skills while reducing the burden on parents and engaging more customers. So how can a troop use Clover Go? When they're all together, they can use it as a cookie booth to accept payments from customers, making it easy for all payments to go to one place and track. When girls are using it, they can, they can take it while going door to door and quickly and easily scan credit cards without saving any private information, but being able to still accept payments. There is an optional Clover Go card reader that's perfect for troops to use at cookie booths. This is at the expense of the troop. However, we recommend using the app. The app is free for all troops and for all girls and no devices are required. So what is the cost? All of the transaction fees are covered by Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. The only cost to troops is if they decide to purchase the optional credit card reader. No device is required and all troops are encouraged to use the app instead of purchasing the device. What's required to participate? All troops before opting into Clover Go must have completed the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio finance information form. They must also have a registered Troop Assistant Cookie Manager in their MyGS account. The Troop Cookie Manager must also have an assigned agreement form on file for the program year. So where does the money go? When the troop sets up this, their account in Clover Go, it is attached to their troop bank account. This makes it really easy because all of the funds will be directly deposited straight into the troop banking account. That's, that is the same for individual girl transactions and troop transactions. That means that the cookie manager has fewer trips to the bank to make. How do you manage the cookie inventory? Card payments that are, are tracked in Clover do not translate into eBuddy. So as the troop cookie manager, it'll be important for you to cross-reference between the two so that you can track your inventory and your finances. There Next, I'm gonna hand you over to Keely, who's gonna walk you through the troop setup. Hello, and welcome to the tutorial. My name is Keely, and I'm part of the product program department with Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Clover Go account for the upcoming cookie program. Let's go. First thing we're going to do is go to girlscouts.firstdata.com and enter in your MyGS login. If you can't remember your MyGS login info, your username is typically the email address you use to register to Girl Scouts. Your password you can have reset by contacting our customer care team. Once logged in, as long as you're in an approved role, the page should open up to the sign up page. Your troop information should automatically auto populate in the troop information boxes down here. You will need to input your e email address again to confirm it, and then scroll down to input your banking information. You will want to have a check from your Girl Scout bank account handy to fill in your routing number and checking number. If you've ever set up auto pay or direct deposit, you're probably familiar with this layout. If you don't have your account information handy, check with your troop leader to get the information. They should have it from recently completing their troop finance information form. Scroll down one more time and you'll see options for equipment. We recommend all users download the Clover Go app. It's free and can be used anywhere. You can also see there are options for scanners. You are welcome to buy these at the troop's expense, but you by no means are required to get these as the app should be sufficient. Select the app and click continue to go to the next page. This page is your confirmation page. All you need to do is verify all the information is correct before finalizing. If something is wrong, click back and fix the incorrect information. If you have more than one troop, you'll be able to return to the troop information page and submit the information for your second troop. Once submitted, all you need to do is wait. Clover Go will verify your information and you will receive an email to begin creating your Clover Go account. 
Once finalized and submitted, you'll want to allow 48 hours to receive your welcome email. This email will have instructions for activating your Clover Go app. We'll go over that in the next part of this video. Hello, it's been roughly 48 hours since I last spoke with you. About midway through the day, I received two emails from Clover. The first is this welcome letter that prompted me to set up my login info for Clover.com. And the second is an email with instructions for downloading the Clover Go app, as you will see here. I'm going to click here to log in to Clover.com to get started with setting up my troop. Upon logging in, I'm taken to this dashboard for myself. I'm going to switch to the troop view so I can better access the tools for setting up my troop or store and also getting the girls in my troop set up or my employees. First, let's go to set up and click on business information. The main purpose of coming here is to ensure that none of the, my personal information, such as phone number and home address, are on this page. I want to update the address to the council office address and the phone number to the customer care phone number at GSWO. The reason for this is because this information will be sent out on receipts to customers and we don't want our personal information to go out to strangers. Once you have saved this page with the updated address, you will receive an email asking for confirmation of the changes made. Simply follow the instructions in the email to complete the confirmation. An additional thing you can do on this page is also add the official GSWO logo if you so choose. It's not required, but it does look professional to customers who buy cookies from the girls. From there, we're going to click Save. Now that we've completed our business information setup, we're going to go to Inventory to the left-hand side of the screen. There is an option here to upload a spreadsheet, but we found it doesn't agree with the 0% tax rate. So we're going to add each item manually. Simply put in the name of the cookie, the price, and click Save to continue. As you can see, you can now see that Thin Mints have been added to this inventory. And as you can also see, we can add a new item by clicking on this button at the top of the page. It's time to add our girls or our employees of the Troop Shop. Click Employees on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll click on Add a New Employee at the top of the screen. First, you will input the girl's full name, and as you do this, you'll see her first name and last initial will pull up in the nickname field. This is fine as it doesn't give away a girl's personal information. Next, input her care caregiver's email address. The last thing we want to do is to change the girl's role from, from employee to manager. We want our girls to have the manager role because managers are able to process full payments and do refunds to customers. When added, caregivers will get an email to create an account and download the app. And you're ready to go. Thank you so much for joining me. If you need additional assistance, please see this slide for details. You can also visit gswo.org slash cookie resources to get PDF step-by-step -step instructions for more information.